What's up everyone? Taylor here from the Film Creator Pro team. Check out this rad video we just dropped in our online filmmaking course, Film Creator Pro. Enjoy. There are many ways to make your videos look visually interesting, from the type of lighting you use to the lenses you shoot on and how you compose the image itself. So let's talk about another way to visually tell your story, and that's through camera angles. There are a ton of different camera angles out there, but in this video, we're going to be covering the 12 most common ones. Number one, extreme long slash wide shot. This is basically a wide shot on steroids. It is meant to wow your audience, showing off everything your scenery has to offer. Drones are the best at capturing impressive extreme wide shots. In these, you wanna make sure your characters are the smallest part of your shot. Number two, long and wide shot. This shows the whole subject, but it doesn't fill the frame. The character starts to become more of a focus when compared to the extreme wide. This also starts to set the character into the scenery. This shot is usually placed at the beginning of every scene because it helps the audience get a feel for the surroundings. Number three, the full shot. Just like the name suggests, it captures the full subject from head to toe. This helps the viewer focus on the subject and their movements. Number four, medium shot. In this one, you show your subject from the waist up. It is in this shot or tighter ones where your audience starts to connect with your subject. This is where the focus changes from what the character is doing to what the subject is feeling. Medium shots are the most common angles used in films. Number five, tight slash close up shot. This shot usually only shows the head or the shoulders of the subject. It's used mostly during dialogue scenes where two characters are talking to one another. This goes hand in hand with the next shot. Number six, over the shoulder. You use this angle when you want to add a nice foreground element to a dialogue scene. This shot is usually framed in a medium or a close-up shooting from behind another person. It helps you put a more of an emphasis on the connection between the two characters. You can also use an over the shoulder shot when your subject is doing something with their hands. Number seven, extreme tight slash close-up or ECU for short. You use this shot to emphasize a small area or detail of the subject, such as their eyes or mouth. There's usually no hidden meaning behind these. You're basically spoon feeding your audience, telling them exactly what you want them to look at. Number eight, high angle. To achieve this shot, you place the camera above eye level of the subject so it is pointed down towards them. You use this kind of shot if you wanna visually show that the subject is vulnerable, weak, or frightened. Number nine, low angle. This is the opposite of high angle. It is shot from below eye level of the subject. In this angle, you show that the subject is powerful, heroic, or dangerous. Number 10, Dutch. In this shot, you'll tilt the camera a little bit so that the horizon is not level. Number 11, cutaway. You use this shot to interrupt a continuously filmed scene by cutting away to something completely different. It's usually followed by a cut back to the first shot. This is really helpful when you're trying to avoid a jump cut. It also is a great way to transition to a new scene. Number 12, POV, which is short for point of view. This puts the camera in the hands of the audience so they can feel and see and taste everything the character does. Okay, maybe not taste, but you get the idea. So those are the basic camera angles we pretty much use every time we shoot. So now get out there, go and experiment with them and see which ones are your favorites. Thanks for watching everyone. If you wanna learn more about filmmaking or pursue a filmmaking career, please check out our online course, Film Creator Pro. In there, we have over five hours of content. We'll share with you everything there is to know about filmmaking, like how to direct actors, how to write, sound hacks, lighting hacks, pretty much anything you need to know. In our opinion, it's a pretty rad course and we would love for you to be a part of it. So please check it out at filmcreatorpro.com. And while you're there, sign up for our free 40 minute training where we share our top 10 secrets to a six figure income. And don't forget to do that YouTube thing to like, comment, and subscribe. Come on, you still haven't come. We're waiting for you.